My job now is ever changing, as is our company. And so my job is more office related than I might love, but I've learned to love aspects of that. And frankly, as the job is built and I become more of a salesman or a, you know, a scheduler or an estimator, I actually like all parts equally. But yeah, we're a company in constant growth and it's been an interesting challenge to grow with it. The homes that we build, we try pretty hard to work at all spectrums, but for the most part, we're building either super high energy efficient but affordable homes or super high energy efficient, super high end homes. Our name of our company is Silver Maple Construction. It's a cooperative of craftsmen, right? So we're working together in a team environment. As we've grown, I've tried to bring in more and more of our work in-house. Um, so basically, if it's made of wood or metal, we're probably doing it. Going on in the shop today, we've got uh, two projects going on. One is a series of corbels and some decorative architectural millwork for a larger remodel project we have going down in Rutland. And then we also have a uh, huge kitchen in a um, Adirondack camp, so we're in the middle of face framing and standing and all that kind of thing. The metalworking shop, their current project is this uh, large fireplace all stitch welded together, very cool. Um, we're actually in the sampling phase for that now. So today they're sampling up uh, a couple of stitch welds and putting some finish on that, uh, both beeswax and mineral oil and uh, some really cool new products that we're trying out. The hard truth is probably about two years ago, I just finally decided I'm not one of the lead carpenters on a job because that just didn't work anymore. Um, I couldn't be relied upon to be there every day the way a lead carpenter has to be to bring our quality to the table. I wasn't a businessman, I was a carpenter who ran a business, right? But it's starting to shift. That initial transition was hard. I work with a bunch of guys who also value craft, right? So to make that shift and not be one of them anymore necessarily was a little hard. So the job I'm going to take you guys today is a high-end residence on the lake. They've done some cool things in that regard. I mean, a lot of people would have put the house right on the lake, right, and just absorbing all that view, but they've set it back. Um, the land is in land trust, uh, so there's going to be cattle grazing and that kind of thing eventually. But the house is fantastic. It's a modern farmhouse. Every detail is crisp and clean right through the framing. Uh, it's currently in the sheetrock phase, so we're getting towards being ready to trim this thing out. Uh, additionally, there are multiple things going on on the compound. So one of these things I'm doing, actually it's been my little pet project, is the ghost shed, which is um, this light on the ground, open to the weather with some plexiglass behind the siding so the light comes through in the evenings. Um, it's gonna double as boat storage stuff and uh, bunkhouse when it's actually summertime. I still have to get back out and get my hands dirty and do those things. I try to do it at least once a week, just for my soul, right? I wanna be out there swinging the hammer. I think it's really important from a perspective of keeping our culture alive, right? But I go from one job to the next to the next, work alongside the guys, you know, maybe have a beer after work with those guys. It's, like I said, I think it's important for me, but it's incredibly important for the company culture as well. I don't know if I have a particular piece of advice for that leap from the craftsman to the enterprise craftsman. The only advice I can really give, and it, it touches on that relationship piece, you have to keep your company values intact for that growth, right? If you're just gonna grow to do more volume, that's not why any of us got into this, right? So we've been pretty careful to, again, increase our volume while not decreasing our quality. So in a lot of cases, we spend a ton of money to make sure that we're well tooled up and that we make connections with our guys every week. And it has to be this, has to be the same company on a larger scale. And if you lose that, I think you're sort of slated for failure or at least slated for something you didn't really intend to get into in the beginning. I build because I'm in love with that process, right? I love that I can turn around and see what I did for the day. And that can mean literally building it or building this company or building a relationship with an architect, building a relationship with a homeowner. I build because I have proof in front of me of what we've done every day.